Okay, so you are done editing your video. Everything looks great. And now you are ready to color grade. Then you remember, oh my God, I'm such a god at Photoshop. Step one, you're gonna go through your footage and you're gonna find a master frame that you're gonna use to color grade in Photoshop. So skimming through. Once you find your master frame, you are going to click on this button here which is a little camera button that says export frame. You can also hit control shift E. Does not matter what you call this file. You're gonna treat it like a used condom because you're gonna throw it away right after. So you're gonna hit browse. Let's pick where we're gonna find, we're gonna drop it. Hit select folder and okay. Boom, now it is in my desktop. Step two, you are gonna open your image up in Photoshop. Find your photo and you're gonna right click, open with Photoshop. Shit is slow, wow. All right, now you have your photo open in Photoshop. This is what you should see. Obviously the picture will be different. Now, the adjustments that you can do that will translate to a LUT are gonna be right here in this half circle thing, adjustment layers. So click here. These are all the options that you have to color grade your footage. I'm not gonna go too in depth with color grading, but here's a quick three step process to what I think about when I color grade. Step one is brightness. Step two, fucking shit, I don't want you to update. Step two, you are going to white balance your image. Step three, you're actually gonna go into the process of giving your um, photo here or LUT a look. So changing up the colors and doing whatever fancy stuff that you wanna do with it. I, uh, I'm pretty sure mask work with any of these adjustment layers. I'm not quite sure, I don't really put mask on any of these adjustments, but if you guys know, please let me know just this brightness. I'm gonna do this super fast. I'm gonna adjust the contrast a little bit. Step three, we're gonna white balance the image. Um, there's so many ways to white balance this. You can eyeball it if you want. Your eyes are gonna be the best thing I feel like, or you can use another curves layer. Click on this white eyedropper to tool and click on something that's actually white on your image. I'm pretty sure this Snow here is supposed to be white. Fuck, that looks wrong. I'm gonna be using color balance adjustment layer because I don't know why the curves aren't just working today. Honestly, I'm just eyeballing this. Don't know, not trying to go super in depth with it. Okay, once you have your white balance, step three, just color grade it real fast. I don't know, I'm just gonna throw some random shit on here for now. Let's take a look at what we have so far. As you can see, I did a bunch of random shit. That is our before picture. Here's our after, before, after. Step three of this process, we're going to export our LUT finally. Once you have all your adjustment layers down a pat, okay? Everything looks cool, Leo. And then you do have to make sure that this image is set as a background image or else it will not work. You're gonna go click on file. We're gonna go export color lookup tables. Nice. For the description, you might actually want to give it a name this time. Let's call this one Iceland Plane. So then I can kind of remember the scene that I'm making this LUT for. Grid points, this is the quality of your LUT. I honestly, so poor is eight. I just go to high. Maximum might be a bit much. So just go to high. And then for Premiere Pro, you just want to export it as a cube. Uncheck all of these files. Boom, you're gonna hit okay. And it's gonna ask you where you want to save your LUT. Let's just save it on my desktop. Rename it again, Iceland Plane. Hit save. Once we are done, go here to this top right corner. Exit out, ask you if you wanna save changes. Unless you want this file for some reason, you have your LUT, doesn't matter. You can come back and change things. So that might be a good reason to save this file. Otherwise, use condom mentality. Hit no, go back into Premiere. Step four, we're gonna apply the LUT. Come down to creative, then go to look. You're gonna hit browse, and then we're gonna find wherever you saved your LUT at. I saved mine in the desktop, because I'm not crazy. Open that, and then boom, we have our LUT applied. Sometimes it might look a little funky, or like too extra, and if that's the case, you can go over here, change the intensity of the LUT, turn that down a little bit. And then you can actually use Lumetri color to make some final adjustments and tweaks. I would actually sharpen in here since you can't sharpen in Photoshop. Awesome. That is how you create a LUT 
in Photoshop and then use it for Premiere Pro, video, anything that takes cube LUTs or any of the file extensions that you can export from Photoshop. Now let's take a look. That looks pretty good. Just made some final adjustments in Lumetri color, kind of boost the colors a little bit after we made our LUT and then this is the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, please leave a like in the comments. Leave a like in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, please like the video. And if you would ever be so kind, please subscribe to the channel. I will be posting more videos on photography, videography, and just general health and wellness on this channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later.